Chinese scientists are claiming quantum supremacy. That much ballyhooed yardstick that lets us know when traditional computing has been supplanted by quantum computing. The researchers claim they have a quantum system that calculated in mere minutes something that they said would take current state-of-the-art supercomputers two billion years to calculate. Quoting Wired, Last year, Google won international acclaim when its prototype quantum computer completed a calculation in minutes that its researchers estimated would have taken a supercomputer 10,000 years. That met the definition for quantum supremacy, the moment a quantum machine does something impractical for a conventional computer. Thursday, China's leading quantum research group made its own declaration of quantum supremacy in the journal Science. The two systems work differently. Google builds quantum circuits using supercold, superconducting metal, while the team at University of Science and Technology of China in Haifei recorded its results by manipulating photons, particles of light. No quantum computer is yet ready to do useful work, but the indications that two fundamentally different forms of the technology can outperform supercomputers will buoy the hopes and the investments of the embryonic industry. Google's experiment used a superconducting chip dubbed Sycamore with 54 qubits cooled to fractions of a degree above absolute zero. One qubit broke, but the remaining 53 were enough to demonstrate supremacy over conventional computers on a carefully chosen statistical problem. It's unclear just how many qubits are needed for quantum computers to do useful work, Expert estimates range from hundreds to millions. The Chinese team also used a statistical test to stake its claim of quantum superiority, but its quantum data carriers take the form of photons traveling through optical circuits laid out on a lab bench guided by mirrors. Each photon read out at the end of the process is equivalent to a qubit, revealing the result of a calculation. One difference between the Chinese system and Google's Sycamore is that the photonic prototype is not easily reprogrammable to run different calculations. Its settings were effectively hard-coded into its optical circuits. Christian Weedbrook, CEO and founder of Toronto quantum computing startup Xanadu, which is also working on photonic quantum computing, says the result is still notable as a reminder that there are multiple viable paths to making quantum number crunching work. Quote, it's a milestone in photonic quantum computing, he says, but also good for all of us, end quote. (laughs) 